Okay, um, here we go. Uh, we're going to start tonight, this morning off with uh, fly number four in my uh, intro to fly tying class. Uh, the fly is the uh, pheasant tail. Been around a long time, but it's got a lot of great little techniques in it to help uh, teach you this fine art. So we're going to start off uh, with a TMC 9300 hook. I'm going to attach my thread which is a rusty brown a dot. I'm just going to get it started. I'm going to run it down to about that point. And then I'm going to grab the ribbing material, which is an extra small copper wire. I'm going to attach that. And again, I'm going to really concentrate on putting that right on the side of the hook. So we're going to bind that down and run it back to the point opposite the barb. Now I'm going to grab our pheasant tail and I'm going to grab four fibers. No more than four, no less. We want four fibers. Okay, we got our four fibers. Make sure your tips are nice and even. And what I'm going to do is attach, I'm going to put, attach that right on the top of the hook. So I'm going to take one loose wrap and just kind of hold it into place. And now what I can do is gently pull those fibers down to where I want them on length. And then that's about half the hook shank. And then I'm going to take a second wrap and tighten it down. And then I'm going to jump the thread right in front. Uh, so what's really on the back of this hook is just holding that bundle of fibers is two little wraps. So now I'm going to pull my fibers back a little bit and then I'm going to run my thread up and I'm going to build a little taper here in my abdomen. just want to build a little bit of a taper. Okay, so we're going to get our taper built. Don't get too carried away, but we want to show a little taper here. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take my pheasant tail and I'm going to wrap them forward. I'll try to keep my fingers out of the way here. And what I'm doing is I'm wrapping them as a bunch of four. As you can see, it's one bunch right in front of the other. I'm going to tie it off. Now, do not cut that bunch off because that's going to become your wing case and your legs. So now I'm going to take my wire. Now this is one of the flies I actually counter rip. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to go underneath, and then my first wrap is going to go right in that little spot of thread right there. And then I'm going to counter wrap this to the front. So I'm going to do about six wraps. And what this counter wrapping does is it helps hold your fiber because these pheasant tails are real delicate. Now to tie this off with it being counter wrapped is when you go to tighten this it will want to loosen it. So what I'll do is I'll take and go right in front of this post where it's sticking up and then bind it down behind it and what that does is it helps keep your rib tight. I'm going to go ahead and break off the wire. So we got there's the abdomen and the ribbing. Now I'm going to take this material here I'm going to fold it back and place it right on top of the hook shank. And I want to go back to about the 60 to 50, 50 to 60 percent point. Got that all bound down now. Now I'm going to take some peacock, and I pull all my peacock from most of my pheasant tails off the eye of the hook, off the eye. Um, they up here in the eye, the outer bunches you can, as you work to the center of the eye, it gets real small, and you can get some real delicate peacock curl for your smaller pheasant tails. So I'm going to grab about three strands.
clip off the tips. And we're going to bind that down. Oops, I lost one, didn't catch. Let's re even them up. Okay, let's try that again. Bind it down back to that point right at the back of the thorax. Run your thread forward. Now I'm just going to take and wrap my peacock. Trying to keep it all together as one unit. I'm going to try to get about four wraps. Four to five. And don't crowd your eye. forward get a couple wraps and now we got our wing case in place you see that and now a couple more wraps just to lock everything in and then I'm going to take these fibers here I'm going to take and put one on my side Okay, there's one on my side, one on the other side, and then come in and clip off the excess, and then we're just going to build a nice little head here, and then we'll go ahead and do a whip finish. take our legs and I'm going to clip them just past the back of the thorax and there you can see your two legs uh, nicely tapered little body look at your how we got a nicely tapered point on up a little little mess at the head but I don't think the fish will care and there you go